All right, hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex, and today we're talking about Evgeny Kuznetsov. So it's been a while since I made a video, and the reason why is because I actually don't have a computer. So if you are new to this channel, this isn't a really great first video to see. I usually have a proper setup with a better microphone, but I'm using my phone because I don't have a computer, can't edit, stuff like that. So anyway, stay tuned for more details on computer and upload schedule and stuff like that uh, in a few days. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe, please. There's better content than this one. But today we're talking about Evgeny Kuznetsov. Uh, he was recently entered into a drug test uh, during the IIA, IIHF tournament, uh, and it was tested positive for cocaine. Uh, I believe it was like 2.1%, which is, um, I mean, it, that's a pretty big number if you think about it, but I don't know what the actual, like, amount was, but 2.1% of, I guess, his body uh, was cocaine, which is not a lot, I guess. But... I don't know the exact details on a scientist, so don't you know? Don't take that at face value. But the point is, is that he had cocaine in his system, and he was tested positive for it. So that means that he uh, got a four-year ban from the IIHF, which is huge—four years uh, to not be able to play for Russia in the IIHF. And that is that. Uh, so we don't really know exactly what's going to happen to him in the NHL. Uh, recently, the Washington Capitals and the um, and I'm getting Kuznetsov off uh, released a statement, uh, basically. The uh, Washington Capitals said, "Hey, listen. We saw what happened, and we are very disappointed in what happened. And we have to. We are taking all precautionary measures, and are we are working with the NHL on to see what is next for Evgeny Kuznetsov." And Kuznetsov basically said the same thing, and he said he's very disappointed in what happened, and he apologizes to the fans, his family, and everybody around him, and stuff like that. So you're your cookie cutter, uh, you know, sort of apology. But it is nice to see that he isn't denying it and saying no, that didn't happen, and this is fake. Blah 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 blah. Um, you know he basically is just owning it and whatever happens he is ready to accept which is big but what does this mean and how long do you think he will be suspended because he could be suspended for quite a while i mean cocaine's a huge you know it's not just like weed or something because weed's you know sort of like okay so it's legal here and it's all that and and canada and all over the world basically so it's not as frowned upon but cocaine is a huge um you know sort of deal and uh we don't know what's next for evgeny kuznetsov i mean is it a 20 game suspension longer who knows will it be a fine who knows he is currently voluntarily uh, inducted into the NHL drug abuse sort of um, program that they have with the NHL PA. So he is a part of that. Um, I don't know if it's long, long term sort of thing. We don't know. But this is just developing. So I will keep you tuned in tuned in. I will keep you updated if something bigger happens. Uh, but we saw the video in May, I believe, of him from apparently last year in Vegas with cocaine. He wasn't using it. Apparently, the NHL did their investigation, talked to some people and said, OK, well, there's not enough here really to say that he was using it. So we're just going to kind of close the case and that's it. And uh, the IHF said, hold on, we we have more detail here. So uh, they thought maybe he was using it during the off uh, during the um, tournament. And uh, turns out, yeah, he was or at least whatever it is point is going to use that soft was caught with cocaine and uh what does this mean for his career what does this mean is it time for washington to think hmm maybe we could try and trade him now even though he was just caught with cocaine maybe we could trade him after he's settled and and proven that he doesn't use it and it's just a one-time sort of lapse uh and maybe they'll trade him because now i personally as a washington capitals fan i actually have a jersey uh, right over here, uh, as a Washington Capitals fan, it is um, it is hard to like the guy after, you know, he's basically said, I don't use it. I've never used it. And then turns out he does. So it is disappointing and, and it hurts. It really does. So um, I personally, as a Washington Capitals fan, don't like him as much anymore. Uh, he uh, it, it hurts. And he's a good, talented player. He needs to put more work in, into his career because if he did, he'd be really, really good. Uh, he doesn't have a work ethic, which is unfortunate, but anyways, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. What do you guys think? Should Kuznetsov uh, be suspended uh, a whole season? Or what do you think? What do you think the NHL's ban will be on uh, Kuznetsov for being caught with cocaine? So I'll see you guys uh, when there's more.